Hello, uh, Avital is here, fitness and nutrition coach, and I've decided to make this short live video today uh, to talk about um, ways to motivate ourselves to lose weight. Why I've picked this uh, topic to talk about, because the summer is coming very soon and um, people want to get in shape for summer maybe you plan some vacation maybe, maybe you're going to be on a beach you want to look good in summer clothes maybe in a swimming suit uh, by the way if you're watching live please comment live and if you're watching replay please comment replay uh, because i want to know who is listening to those videos so uh yeah so people want to get ready for summer but it's very hard to motivate ourselves right uh, for example, you have a goal, you want to lose weight, you, go, you want to get fit and maybe you do something for a few days and then you feel like, oh, I don't feel like doing that and, uh, you know, you, you dream or your goal just never happens. So how can we motivate ourselves? Today I'm going to share 12 easy ways, easy, it's going to be not too easy, but pretty easy to motivate ourselves to lose weight. First of all, start early. Don't wait until last moment. Like if you go to vacation in two weeks that, and you have to lose 40 pounds, that might be a problem, right? So plan ahead. Uh, but most important, number one is find your why. So to look good on a be in a beach clothes, this is why, but not as important why. So go five layers deep. If you want to lose, uh, if you want to look good in your beach clothes and your swimming suit, why would you? I'm giving you an example. Why would you like to look amazing in your swimming suit? Uh, because when you look good, maybe you feel good. And why would you like to feel good? Because when you feel good, you feel confident. And why would you like to be confident? Because when you're confident, you can do anything. Like you can have better relationships with your family, with your partner, with your kids, maybe. So then your, your reason, the first reason was you want to lose weight and get fit to look good in your swimming suit. But the deep reason was because you want to improve your relationships with your family or with, you, with your partner or your kids, right? So always look for a deeper why. It's not the first why that comes to your head. Uh, just go five layers deep and find that why that will motivate you to continue working on your goals. Uh, and so that was number one. Number two on my list is to have realistic expectations. As I said, if you go to vacation in two weeks and you have to lose 40 pounds, this is not a realistic expectation. To lose lots of weight in short time is very hard and uh, you will feel overwhelmed. And even if you succeed, then uh, if you lose too much weight in too short time, people gain all the weight back and even some more and eventually it slows down your metabolism for life. So don't do any crash diets when you lose too much weight in too short time. What is realistic expectation? How much weight to lose is realistic? Between one to two pounds a week, that would be realistic weight loss. So if you have to lose like uh, 20 pounds, then you need about 12 weeks, yes? So do your math ahead of time and focus on process goals what does it mean process goal so not end goal not the like if your goal is to lose 20 pounds then you have to break this goal into smaller smart goals so they don't overwhelm you and the example of one small uh, smart goal will be uh, making 10,000 steps each day for the next week that would be smart uh, goal and smart uh, is specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. So all our goals have to be like that. Uh, and pick a plan that fits your lifestyle. For example, it's very popular right now to do intermittent fasting uh, because it helps to lose uh, weight fast, right? And what it is for those who don't know, uh, you just eat in certain window of time. For example, you pick a window, eight hours, you eat uh, during eight hours and you don't eat or you stay hungry <laughs> the other 16 hours, right? Uh, is it easy? Um, maybe it's easy for some people. Is it doable? Yes, it's doable. So it, how it will look like? Let's say you don't eat breakfast, you eat your first meal at 12 p.m. and you finish eating at 8 p.m. Does it work for everyone? No. 
it would not work for me, for example. I'm a morning person. I like to wake up early and have my breakfast. And if I didn't have my breakfast, I would have no energy for anything. So pick a plan that works for you. What works for your friend or for your neighbor might not work for you, right? This is important to remember. Uh, the next one is, um, oh yeah, and another example of uh, goals that fits your lifestyle. So don't try to... Uh, to have to have two big goals for example uh, to cut your calories like if you were eating like 2000 calories for example a day don't try to cut them to 1000 right away that's how you set yourself up for falling off the wagon make it realistic cut your calories slightly try to eat less snacks try to eat less desserts try to eat less fried foods try to include more fruits and veggies and have a food journal so this is probably most um, challenging for many people to have a food journal but research showed people who write down everything they eat and drink during the day for you know some time or having a food journal they're more successful in losing weight because when we eat we don't always remember what we had what we ate what we drink and eventually we overeat the calories but when you write it down and have it in front of you then you see it you see it easily uh, now drink uh, half of your body weight in ounces and uh, what it means it means if your weight is 140 pounds you need to drink about 70 ounces of water a day just plain water water has no calories we need to drink water because it helps to uh, eliminate faster and it keeps your metabolism uh, faster so it helps to lose weight uh, sometimes we feel hungry when we are maybe just dehydrated so remember the water uh, another important point is to sleep seven to eight hours every night and many of us are short on sleep when we're short on sleep uh, then uh, we don't have enough time to recover, especially if you're working out, right? You need time for your muscles to recover and grow. And so when we sleep less hours, we have more cravings, so we don't watch what we eat. So uh, this is very important point, to sleep seven to eight hours and to release stress regularly. And how are you going to release stress? Whatever works for you. You can meditate, you can do yoga, you can go for a walk, you can watch a comedy, yes. You can watch a movie that makes you love, laugh and love. <laughs> you can spend time with people you love. So whatever works for you to release stress, but it's super important to release stress regularly because stress not only is an obstacle in weight loss, but it also um, creates disease in the body. So don't forget to release stress. Uh, make a commitment aloud. And why, what does it mean and why is it important? So when you decide to lose weight or to get fit and nobody knows about it, it's very easy to fall off the wagon because you feel like, no, today I don't feel like exercising. And nobody knows that you're committed so you can skip your workout easily. But if you told uh, your spouse, your family, your friends, or even put uh, you know, on your Facebook uh, profile, uh, put it there and say, I'm planning to lose whatever you want to lose like 20 pounds by uh, i don't know august july maybe vacation time if you put it out there and people see that you are co committed it's easier for you to actually commit because more of people know that you are going to do that the more you will actually do that uh, also find a role model and when i'm talking about role model don't pick someone who is like uh, very different from you for example if you are 50 years old woman as a role model don't pick uh, somebody 18 years old and weighing one, uh, 120 pounds because it will be very hard for you to relate to that person uh, pick somebody who is similar to you and who you can relate to but of course somebody who already uh, achieved what you want to achieve it also helps to have a dog because dog is perfect com companion for walks dog always wants to be walked so if you adopt a dog or if you have a dog uh, you are more likely to lose weight and the last but not least get professional help if everything else fails get somebody to keep you accountable to keep you motivated and to explain to you every step of you of what you have to do 
And if you decide that it might be something that you want to do, uh, I can accept two more one-on-one -on -one coaching clients for weight loss. Uh, and to uh, have your discovery call, uh, I'll, put, uh, I'll post in the comments uh, the link where you can book discovery call and we can chat and see if we are good fit to work together. Thank you so much for listening and bye for now until we see each other again.